Crystal meth. I don't know where the hell it came from. That's that junk they've been making in Hawaii. We've been seeing more and more problems with it since it showed up on the streets. Well, I know what it is, but what was he doing with it? Tom was a good cop. He was too smart to be messing with that stuff. Who, uh, who broke it to his wife? I did. You? Didn't seem to be anybody else. His partner's all torn up. When is that damn city council gonna understand what we're fighting here? Give us a budget we can work with. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Cruz. I would have, I, I should have talked to her. I... That's, that's all right, Vic. You know, at least Marie knows me. Tom used to work on him before he transferred to narcotics. As a matter of fact, I think you were his replacement. Oh. She's got two kids. Her family's all back east. There's a neighbor staying with her today. Man, it just doesn't make sense. We need to talk to his partner. Okay, I'll, I'll get him in here. Give me 15 minutes, will you? You got it. Hi. Hi, uh, morning. Good evening. Did you get some sleep, Vic? Okay, I will. Yeah, tell him. Yeah. I would tell you, but it wouldn't do any good. What have we here? Hmm. Breakfast. Oh, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. Are you all right? Yeah. Sorry about the all-nighter. I understand. I called about half an hour ago, but I guess you'd already left. Yeah, well, your father came to pick up the kids and take them to the park. And I went and took some things over to Marie Fellows. Yeah, how's she doing this morning? Well, you know, she's a strong woman. Remember how patient she was listening to me when I was afraid of you getting on the force? Wanted you to take that desk job with Daddy? It's like she's been preparing for this for a long time. I don't know. I, I promised myself I wouldn't bring this up, and I think it's best if I keep my promise. Yeah. Uh, there was a message on the machine when I called from that uh, Mrs. Soderham, used to work in the orphanage. What'd she say? She said uh, you should get in touch, uh, something about the picture. You can use my phone if you want. Oh, great. Well, you know, I thought it was a dead end. I, I thought maybe she was a little senile, you know. Let's see. Uh... You know, I had a very interesting conversation with Derek Griffin's butler last night, the Orient Express, after he left. Basically told me to keep my nose in my own business and to give Derek his privacy. Which, of course, made me feel like I was on to something, judging from... Hello? Hi, I'd like to speak to Mrs. Soderham, please. This is Eden Castillo. Judging from what? Mrs. Soderham? Hi, th this is Eden. Oh, Mrs. Castillo. Hi. I'm so glad you called. You know, I I've been studying that picture you gave me yesterday and going over it and over it in my head, and I finally remembered the names of those children. You did? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, um, uh, what what are they? Uh, well, well, there's there's Derek, of course, like I said, uh -huh. and the other boys are Richard Elfin and Jimmy Laughlin and Howard Pace. Oh, oh, oh I can't thank you enough <laughs> for calling me. I really appreciate your help. Oh well, <laughs> the faces may be blurred, but my memory is not. <laughs> Well, of course it isn't, and I really appreciate your help on this story. Oh, you're quite welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. You know, I never would have been able to remember the, those names without your help. <laughs>